Well, hello, lovelies, and welcome back to Theater Talks with Scott. I know, I have been gone a long time. I am sorry. But we're back. All right, I'm not going to get into all what's happened in my life in the last six months. It's been insane. So, but I've been excited to get back. I am in New York. You can tell by the background. Yep, I am back in New York, and I am here to see a show. I'm just here for the weekend, so I'm going to see several shows. But the one I'm seeing tonight is the reason for the trip. I am seeing the Stephen Sondheim revival of Merrily We Roll Along. And you guys, this is an opportunity that I have been waiting for since 1990, maybe late 80s, when I became obsessed with this show. So if you're not familiar with Merrily We Roll Along, I'm not going to get into the whole story and plot because I'm going to do that when I do my review later, okay? But it was a musical that was done. Stephen Sondheim, um, George Firth wrote the book, and Hal Prince directed it. And this was at the height of their careers, and they had been churning out hit and hit. Sondheim and Prince were like this duo, this team, and they were fantastic. Um, and, I mean, on the top of the world. And then they did this song, and they wanted to do a musical based on this play that was a Kaufman and Hart play called Merrily We Roll Along. And it's about show business people. And it's told backwards. And so it spans from 1955 to 1980. Um, and this was a show that opened in 1981. And uh, they cast very young people. Uh, and a lot of them in their very first uh, show or first chance, Jason Alexander, uh, Tanya Pinkins, Liz Calloway, um, and, there, and there's more. I can't remember. You can Google it. Okay. Um, and so they cast the show with all these, uh, Lonnie Price. Hello, Lonnie Price. Can't remember. Can't believe I didn't say him. Um, and, the, and they were doing this show and they had to go into like a hiatus after casting. And then there's a great documentary called The Best Worst Thing That Ever Happened. I've watched it several times. Watch it. It's really, really cool. Uh, because it's a backstage story. It's it's that the story about the musical and the making of it. Um, and then it was in previews for a long time. And they kept rewriting and rewriting it. So when it opened in 1981, and it closed 16 performances later. <laughs> yeah, it became this thing. And so then it became kind of this cult classic. And people like me, when I discovered it, and what happened is I discovered other songs from the show. The song Old Friends is one of the most popular songs. Um, uh, Not a Day Goes By. Um, How Did We Get There From Here? I mean, there's a lot, a lot of popular songs from the show. But the show is never done because it was flawed and because it was not understood and lots of reasons. So it's never been revived on Broadway until now. In 2012, there was a uh, concert, uh, encores. You know, they do these concert versions. And that had like this stellar cast. It was, um, well, it was Lin-Manuel Miranda. It was Celia Keenan-Bolger. It was Colin um, Dowell. It was Betsy Wolf. It was Elizabeth Ashley. Uh, my girl, Jessica Bosk. I mean, it was a fantastic cast. Cast, okay. Um, but this play mainly centers around the three main people, Franklin Shepard, Charlie, and Mary, and their struggle in the business. And it's told, like I said, backwards. Um, and that's part of why it didn't click back in 1981. Um, it was hard, I guess, for the audience to accept these 20-somethings, some teenagers. There were some people that weren't, I mean, I think they were 18, um, uh, maybe even younger. Um, that and it was hard to accept them in the beginning of the play as 40 somethings, 50 somethings, old adults, you know, which I, I can kind of get, but I just think we're a lot more um, savvy audience members now than right now <laughs> than we were, than they were in 1981. Hell, I was like, how old was I? 13? Yeah, anyway. So the show, um, so Maria Friedman, who was longtime friends with Sondheim, how in America we say Bernadette Peters was like Sondheim's muse. Um, Maria Friedman also, uh, in she's a, she's a Brit, so in the UK. Um, 
and she's also a big director, and so she had a real friendship with Sondheim. In fact, he, I mean, a real good friendship. In fact, her, um, Stephen Sondheim was her son's godfather. Um, and she had been working with him on this show, and they did it in London. There is a recording of it. I've not watched it. I've never seen a staged performance of Marilyn We Roll Along. I know the show very well. I know the music incredibly well. I've never seen a stage performance of it. So they did it um, off-Broadway um, last year at uh, the New York Theatre Workshop, and it had Jonathan Groff, and it had Lindsay Mendez, and Daniel Radcliffe. I mean, come on, those three, hello. And of course, we all knew it was coming to Broadway because it was a very short um, run uh, at, at New York Theater Workshop. And so it's on Broadway at the Hudson and I am going tonight. And I'm meeting a couple of people who I have become friends with through Facebook and they follow some of the videos and, and we've gotten to know each other a little bit. And all we know is that we're big theater people. We're huge Sondheim fans. and. Um, when uh, Merely We Roll Along, for those of you that don't know or don't follow or whatever, I keep telling people the story of when they announced Merrily was coming to Broadway, and then they announced when tickets were going to go on sale. And it was very similar in my mind to the whole Taylor Swift ticket debacle thing. Well, it wasn't a debacle, but the whole thing. Because we had to get in line, we had to put in a request, and then get in line, get in the queue. And I, I remember I'm sitting there, it was funny because my mom had been in rehab, uh, and she'd come home and her home health care nurse was there with her, but I had to be there because I'm her, uh, you know, health care advocate. And I'm sitting there with my laptop on my lap. I'm going, I'm listening to this, but I'm watching this because as soon as tickets are available, I have to buy tickets. <laughs> and then my friend Pat that I'd met online, he's like, we're going on this date and, and we're in line ahead of you and we're going to get tickets. Do you want one? I'm like, hell yeah, I'll be there. So I'm actually seeing the show twice. This is the first time though. And it's really cool that I get to see it with the, some friends. Um, so... That's what we're doing tonight. I'm going to see Merrily We Roll Along um, at the Hudson Theater. I am so psyched. Uh, very, very excited to see it and watch for my review and my comments and my experience afterward. Uh, it's good to be back with you guys. Uh, let me know what you've been up to and uh, let me know what things you might want me to see. Um, all right. I will see you guys after the show. <laughs>